Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today I'm gonna be making a grilled flank steak with a fire-roasted chimichurri sauce and cauliflower rice. We're gonna kick this off by trimming up our flank steak and getting it into a marinade. Now this is roughly a two pound flank steak, came from our local butcher shop, and they really did a bang up job of trimming this thing, so they don't have much for me to do. But if you see any silver skin, on the outside of this thing, or if there's any excessive fat, you can go ahead and take that off. But this thing is really in pretty good shape, so let's mix up our marinade. Today we'll be using Sweetwater Spice's Lime Jalapeno Fajita Bath. Now this uses the acid from pineapple juice, as well as salt, to both marinate and brine the meat. Now with this concentrate, we're using one part water to one part fajita bath, and you may need a couple of bottles to get this submerged. So we'll get this guy fully submerged. Lock in the plate and give this about an hour in the marinade. So while the flank steak marinates, we're going to head out to the grill with our chilies and get those roasted off. We've got the Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill. It's running nice and hot, 500 degrees, cherry and pecan pellets in there today. And we've got this set up for direct grilling. So we've got our grill grates in place and we're going to get our chilies right there, right over the heat. So as you can see, we've got some poblano peppers. We've also got some Anaheim's, but if you've got Hatch or New Mexico, whatever you've got around that's similar to this, work really well. If you wanna do some jalapenos for a little extra heat, you could do that as well. Now we're just gonna blister the skin on these. We'll flip them around a few times, and uh, once they're nice and blackened, we'll get them off the grill. All right, those chilies are on the grill, so now's a good time to gather up the remaining ingredients for the chimichurri. Got a large yellow onion here, and we're only gonna need about a quarter of it. And we'll just kind of give this a rough chop. And we're going to use about a cup's worth of chopped cilantro. And we're only going to need about a half cup of Italian parsley. So you can see we're getting some nice charring. We want a little bit more of that on this side. But this one right here, this is ready to flip. You can see you've got some char and the skin is beginning to loosen from the flesh. We need about six cloves of garlic for this recipe. And here's a really cool trick for getting those skins off nice and fast. And they are peeled. These are gonna go into the food processor with everything else eventually. So we don't need to worry about having nice cuts. We're just gonna give it a rough chop. I've got some capers here that I've already rinsed. I'm gonna take two tablespoons of those. And the last thing we're gonna need is about a quarter cup of lime juice. So as these peppers have blackened, the skin is loosened, we're gonna take them from the grill, put them in a bowl covered with some plastic wrap. And we'll give these guys about 10 to 15 minutes to steam. And while it steams in here, that skin's gonna release from the flesh and we can peel it off. All right, now that our peppers have steamed, we are going to get the skins off, the seeds out. We don't need that stem. So we'll just open this up. We'll scrape the seeds out with the back of your knife. Flip that over. And this skin should peel right off. All right, and this can go in the bowl with the rest of our chimichurri ingredients. All right, let's get these chimichurri ingredients into our food processor. And with all these herbs in here, you're gonna have to scrape down the sides a couple times. We've got this pulse pretty nice though, and there's one more thing we need to add to it, and that's some olive oil. All right, now with the processor running, we'll slowly add 
two thirds of a cup of olive oil. You can see that we're almost there. All right, that looks nice and evenly processed. Give it a little taste, see if it might need some salt, but otherwise we're gonna be good. Nice and bright. I think a little pinch of salt would help though. All right, and that's good to go. Flank steak is ready to come out of the marinade now. We're gonna get it seasoned up. So we'll use a paper towel just to get the excess moisture off the outside, but we are gonna use some of that moisture to kind of help our rub bind to the steak itself. Speaking of our rub, we're using Cattleman's Grill 8 Second Ride Carne Asada Rub. Uh, this has got some really great chili flavor, a little bit of heat to it, so go light if your family doesn't like the heat. And there's plenty of flavor in that marinade as well, so we don't have to go too heavy on this. And of course we've got that chimichurri sauce coming up. It's gonna add a lot of flavor to this dish as well. All right, let's let this set up for just a few minutes and we'll take it out to the grill. All right, so as you can see, fairly thin piece of meat, so this is not gonna take a long time. And we're still running the pit nice and hot. We got some nice grill marks. And we'll just turn that so we get a nice cross hatch on there. All right, it's been about 10 minutes total maybe. Got some good marks, so let's flip this over. All right, looks like we've hit our mark, so let's go ahead and pull this guy off. And now that we've pulled the steak off, we're gonna give it a little bit of a rest before we slice into it, and we can put all these components together for our nice carne asada plate. Cauliflower rice. Now this has become a lot more popular the last few years, and for good reason. It's a really fantastic alternative, a healthy alternative to white rice. And cauliflower is like a sponge for flavor. It just sucks up whatever seasonings you're putting in there. So we're gonna start with our whole head of cauliflower and break it down and get to these florets. We'll just take these florets off. All right, just a rough chop on these. These are headed to the food processor. And that's a pretty nice consistency. All right, we've got our cast iron nice and hot. We we'll put down just a little bit of olive oil. And then we'll get our cauliflower in there. All right, so we're about 10 minutes in on this. It's feeling nice and tender. Let's check it out. Yeah, perfect. All right, so to finish this thing up, I just want to throw a little bit of cilantro in there, a little bit of lime juice. Oh, that smells awesome. All right, stir that up. We'll keep this warm and we are ready to build our plates. All right, now flank steak is a nice flavorful cut of meat, but it's also fairly lean and can be a fairly tough cut of meat. And that's why we're gonna go nice thin slices. We can see the grain is running this direction, so we cut at a 90 degree angle to make those muscle fibers as short as possible. This fat end of the meat, you can see we have a really nice pink center. Of course, when you get down to the other end, it's going to be a little more done. And that's really great because you kinda get to please everyone that way. Now we get you guys asking sometimes about some of the tools that we're using in the kitchen and stuff like this. Um, for example, this knife is the Victorinox slicer. 
Uh, and it's great for jobs just like this, taking cooked meat and cutting it nice and thin. That's the kind of tool you want to be using. So like I said, if you're not a fan of the pink center, this other end down here is going to be for you, but still lots of juice in there. Personally, I am a fan of the pink end, so I'm going to take a bite out of that. Well, you'd never know it's supposed to be a tough cut of meat because that's super tender, super juicy. All right, we'll put down the base of our cauliflower rice. And get some of our flank steak on top of there. Hit it with the chimichurri. You want to pretty it up for your friends and family, throw a little cilantro on there. Slice some lime, and you are good to go. I'm going to get some of that rice, some of that chimichurri. Wow, all works together really well. I love the tanginess from the chimichurri. And it's got just a little bit of heat from those peppers. Well, this works really great. I think it's a really great way to start off the new year. Hope you guys give this a try and let us know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.